Welcome to my tech fan. I'm Igor and in this video I would like to test can I use a standard hexagonal screw nuts as a thermal 3D printing insert. A few months ago I saw an interesting video about testing brass inserts from cheap to expensive and I was really impressed with those numbers. And I was thinking can I use even cheaper hexagonal nut for these purposes. I even ordered some items for myself and finally they arrived. So I would like to do some kind of comparison test too. One of them is this designed to be inserted inside injection molding. You can see this version with this broken uh, GoPro mount. And, and the other one is specially designed to be inserted into finished plastic parts, so I call it 3D printing insert. I was thinking to test breast nuts too, but I stay with the steel because they are much more common. There are three types of the load I want to talk about. And the first one is a torque. Usually a uh, nut is inserted uh, into plastic and it has to be in, uh, and it has to stay in one place until we uh, screw in the bolt from the other side. Now, hexagonal nuts can hold quite big torque, uh, especially if all six sides, sides are supported. Unlike with those pocket insets where only two sides are supported, there it's much better to use uh, square nuts, but that's a different story. And also corners uh, of the hex nut are much uh, are farther from the center compared to the, these two brass insets I have with me. Of course, they will be planted in a plastic, so there are some other uh, things to consider about. I'm sure that uh, for hexagonal nuts, the torque is not the weak point, so this will not be tested in this video. The second load is the main load from the supported side. Now, the stress is equal force divided by area, and if aligned in uh, area is bigger then we can have a less stress and area of the hexagonal nuts is uh, bigger compared with these two areas for these breast, uh, breast insets I have with me. This main load on, on aligning surface is not measured in this video I'm just calculating it from uh, area size of area on this of the surface and uh, I will use it only for comparison of these three inserts. And the third type of the load is the pulling force, pulling from that hole. And this is the most critical point for these uh, hexagonal nuts. Uh, so this will be measured in this video. There are two types of the test. In the first part, I, I have to find out uh, how big hole I need. So how much smaller that hole has to be. Uh, the, there where I can still insert these uh, hexagonal nuts with the soldering iron and how much force I can expect for, from that uh, inserting. And when I find out that, that uh, size, then I will uh, create uh, three holes for, for each insert. I want to measure the pulling force because this is the most critical point. This is what I want to find out uh, and to decide can I use this as a th thermal insert or not. Let's see the designs. I measured the distance between flat surfaces on the screw nuts. It is 5.4 millimeters. So I started with uh, 5.3 and going down to the 4.7 millimeters. And this is the preview in the Prusa slicer. As you can see, I used 100% infill with a lot of parameters. Here you can see the parameters of 3D printing. And I'm using PLA for this testing. I set up my soldering iron to 180 degrees Celsius, but later you will see I raise it to 200 on the second test. Here I show you the original speed so you can see how slow you can melt in the nut into plastic. And the rest will be speeded up. And this is the last one. As you can see, uh, it goes in into each print. That really looks good. And don't forget to clean your soldering iron at the end. I use the breast sponge for these purposes. And now the testing. Uh, I use the stick tape 
to place the nut in the center of this hole. This is 10 millimeter hole and it is important to hold to be in the center, not aligned to the metal, so it can be freely pulled out. It just has to be uh, in the place until I start pulling, and then the friction will hold it in the place. And let's start the testing. And as I expected, the biggest hole could hold up only 1.15 kilograms. And it wasn't a very big difference with the 5.2 millimeter hole. And things started to get uh, interesting on 5 millimeter hole. Unfortunately with this test I failed because the test probe moved from the center so the nut aligned to the metal couldn't fall out. But the rest of the tests were finished successfully. Here you can see the results. In the table uh, I marked with the red the unacceptable uh, values, so I will go with 4.9 mm hole. For the final test props I will need these two diameters. The first one is the middle diameter of the injection molding insert and I will add 0.1 mm to this diameter. And the second one is this diameter on 3D printing insert, but basically it is advertised as insert for 4 mm hole. And these test probes are printed with 100% uh, infill and a lot of parameters from the PLA. And this time I use 200 degrees Celsius soldering iron. This is very easy to insert because it has a cylindrical part. But uh, I didn't feel any problems with inserting these injection molding inserts. And this time I added the cylindrical part, so I'm sure the test probe will stay in the center of the hole during the test. Okay, method number two. You can't see my legs, but... Okay. I'm fine. At least we know the limit. It's coming down easily. 3D printing in cells, 3. Oh. My safety strap. We don't need safety. Safety first.
I hear you. We don't need a safety strap. Here you can see the results of the pull-out tests and I'm a little disappointed with pulling force of hexagonal nuts but I'm really impressed with other two breast inserts and don't forget that this used injection molding insert is much smaller compared to 3D printing insert. Uh, but of course there are applications where this small pulling force of the hexagonal nut is enough and it is good to know the possibilities. And I usually need this 3D printing insert to hold a main load from the other side to the supported surface. The conclusions, well unfortunately what I expected, I was afraid of that this pulling out force is very weak with these hexagonal nuts, depend on your design. Uh, usually I need only a uh, high load only on one side and if I can design that that side is supported then uh, then it's it's fine because in opposite side usually i use i need this pulling out force to be just to prevent the screw nut to fall out or maybe just to hold uh, some object uh, in one place without any load so in that case that can be useful but if you need in the pulling force any load then well you saw the numbers you can use this uh, cheap uh, brass insets for designed for injection molding but it's really much better uh, to use a special 3d printing insets because uh, it's much easier to place them in the hole and it, they can hold a much bigger pull out force so i was <laughs> really impressed you can see this small piece of uh, metal and plastic can hold my weight so i was really impressed with those numbers I learned a lot of things for this video because everything was new for me. I hope you learned uh, some new things too. If you have any suggestions, you can write me in the comments. And thank you for watching. Happy printing. Bye.